Good morning, Navigators. So today is day four, and we are in beautiful St. Thomas. So we pulled into port this morning um, around 11 o'clock, and as a Haven Suite guest, you can be escorted down to get priority debarkation, but we've kind of had a slower morning, and so we're gonna um, just kind of go at our own pace and, and make our way down. So we're currently docked at the Haven site pier. Um, some of the other cruise lines are docked a little bit further down and not kind of from the main area, but I'm very excited that NCL Encore actually can pull right up into the Haven site. So we're gonna explore today and, uh, and take you around with us. All right, so as Colleen said, we're going to be uh, heading out. Um, we don't have any plans. Well, we, I should say we did have plans. So here's the deal. This is our second time to St. Thomas. Uh, the first time we booked something on uh, Symphony of the Seas called the St. Thomas Accessible Tour, Accessible St. Thomas, something like that, got canceled, which was fine because if you watch that video, we were both <laughs> recovering from a bit of a head cold or something. When we booked this trip, I was like, oh, look, there's an Accessible St. Thomas surgeon. And the on the Symphony, they, can they had canceled it weeks in advance. And so leading up to this, we hadn't heard anything. So I was like, great. I'm like, this time we're gonna be going on this tour. It'll be great. We'll get to drive around the island. We'll get to go to the mountaintop over there. Um, and sure enough, we get on board. Folks say to us, they're like, oh. Oh, first of all, do you really need a, a lift? And we're like, yes. So that's why we booked the accessible tour. And they're like, like okay, well, we're just checking because there might be other people that really needed it. So we just wanted to make sure that you actually needed a wheelchair lift. And I said, okay. She's like, well, I'm going to double check with the tour operator and make sure that everything's okay. And, um... Now, I will say for the record, this is not the concierge desk here at the Haven that I'm speaking to. This is the excursion desk, um, main excursion desk on the ship. And then she calls me back later and says, oh, yeah, we called the tour operator and their lift's not working. Here's my thought is that this accessible St. <laughs> accessible St. Thomas tour doesn't exist or it, it does exist, but for some reason it's never available. Uh, you can book it if you want, just don't be disappointed if it doesn't happen. Because again, our second time to St. Thomas, second time this tour has been canceled, I'm um, assuming it's probably the same tour operator that all the cruise ships are using. So again, a little disappointing, but we're gonna make the most of it today. All right, later navigators. Right, navigators we are off the ship uh, I think we accidentally cut the line <laughs> we didn't realize we're like I thought people were just waiting around for like a tour uh, or something but uh, a little chaotic so I think the rules are here we were told to bring our IDs which we have and vaccination cards in case we're asked for it and right now uh, this is December 2021 the rule in St. Thomas is mask required uh, inside of shops and restaurants. So again, just be mindful of that if you're coming. Uh, the ship would provide us with uh, a mask if we needed it, but we had some of our own. So anyways, we're gonna just check out the shops and then go from there. So we'll see you later. Right, so we just made our way to Haven Site Mall. Um, even though St. Thomas is considered part of the U.S., um, I just want to point out some of the accessibility. Um, so there are ramps from what we can see, but they're definitely not to standard code. I think it's like one inch to one foot in the U.S. So Nate will pan and kind of show you the ramp um, going up into the mall area, but not something I'd be able to do on my own. Think of this shop. Love it. I don't serve, but if I did, this would be the place to come. I know we got the uh, the uh, 
Olu Kai uh, sandals. I, I really like those. Which hat do you think? You like the VI? I like, kind of like that one. It's like a two tone. Ooh, I like that. I like that. I like this one. Yeah. What is, is that? A gray? Blue? Yeah, it's like a steelish gray blue. Yeah, 30 bucks. Not bad. It's what you're going to pay in a gift shop. So, very cool. I'm going to this up. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. I think it's too nice already. Yeah. It's nice. Put this on a sailboat? Yeah. You pick. Yeah. 20 minutes later. That's cute. That's very cute. Oh, it's very nice. Well, it's like the um, starfish. Yeah. Or the no, urchins, right? Urchins. Yes. Yeah. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. That's the one. That's the one? Yeah. You happy with that choice? I am. Oh man, that does not look fun. The best taxi. All right, so we're leaving the Carabana gift store and uh, beside the ornament, my other big request is we gotta get rum within the same Thomas. So we found a local distillery called Bones and uh, we were able to do a little bit of sampling and uh, we actually purchased four small bottles and they're gonna box it up for us, leave it here so we can kind of cruise around the uh, Haven State Mall and see where we want to go. And then on our way back to the ship, grab it. So very excited, delicious rum. Yeah, it's really important, I think, especially with um, cruising, just you know, starting up for the last six months is that if you come out here, I mean, we could have bought just two bottles, but you know, the way I look at it is like, the local economy has suffered here. So maybe, maybe just buy twice what you were gonna buy. Just help them out a little bit more. I know that they really appreciate it. Oh, that's loud. <laughs> like a lot of places in America there's a lot of shops that are closed down now uh, thanks to the pandemic so uh, but it's nice actually it's a really nice place if you want to come out and just get some views actually it looks like another ship's pulled in behind us uh, as well too so uh, just really cool if you want to come out here and kind of I don't know I guess there is some shopping with the sunglass hut here so if you forgot your sunglasses there's not much else though going on out here right now. So it looks like they probably had vendors and stuff at one point, but you know, tourism's just getting re-going uh, out here in the uh, U.S. Virgin Islands. So again, like I said before, if you have the ability to uh, come here and support your, uh, you know, if you're out here as a tourist or on a cruise ship, you know, make sure you spend a few bucks and uh, you know, help these folks uh, you know, rebuild their economy. Um, so far, everyone's been really nice. I think uh, Colleen's checking out the accessibility of the restrooms right now, but uh, we're just gonna keep doing some more filming. And then I think the plan is now is to go
go back, pick up the rum, head to the ship. All right, later navigators. I'm gonna pinch this could work. The handle of that doorknob is not something oh, you yeah. normally get like crank. Yeah. Not turned if you don't have the grip strength. But if you're with someone, yeah. you can use the restroom. Yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to grab the rum. Colleen's going to hang back there. And we're going to get back on the ship and get some lunch because I'm sure Colleen's hungry. I had some nice pancakes for breakfast, so I'm pretty full. But anyways, and I think the plan is, I don't know if this weather's going to hold, but the plan is to go up onto deck 19 and chill get some uh relaxation time because hey we're on vacation here so anyways give you a nice little tour of the port uh it's a nice port they got a lot of shopping here so um it's all duty free just make sure that you uh let them know that you're on a ship because it is open to the public so i guess if you're staying on st thomas and you come down here you can definitely do some shopping so uh anyways i'm gonna talk to you later you miss me of course i did i got the rum yeah, I can't be a proper pirate without rum. Oh yeah, you packed it up all nice. All right, navigators, so we are back on the ship. So we did a beautiful little walk around at St. Thomas, picked up some souvenirs, and now we're having lunch in the Haven. So it is stunning. We are looking over like the marina area. There's boats, you can see some of like the, the homes and the hotels and the mountains. And it's, uh, we're covered, which is nice, it's cool, breezy, so we're just enjoying ourselves and having a delicious lunch. All right, just got back and Colleen's and Ah. So we had dessert, of course, with lunch. We split dessert because we've, we've been good on this cruise so far, but we come back to our room and we've got chocolate and then over here we've got cookies. I mean, six cookies. It looks amazing! It looks amazing, but I mean, Norwegian, like, are you seriously trying to like, you know, do you have a deal with like Weight Watchers or something? <laughs> so like we get off the cruise and they're handing you memberships to do Weight Watchers. But uh, yeah, so again, lunch was great. Now the plan is to chill out, but it's mostly gonna be us laying around, which I don't know if that makes for good content on YouTube, probably not. And then uh, we're gonna do a late dinner and stuff like that. We may film a little bit, but if not, we'll see you later, navigators. <laughs>